And this video is going to demonstrate how to set up and use a cardboard viewer to view 360 degree and virtual reality content online. This cardboard viewer is designed so that you can insert your phone into the viewer and then you can access 360 degree content online. This is an example of the content. You'll notice that there are two screens they are slightly offset and they are done in such a manner which will allow you to put this inside the cardboard and you can view images in 360 by putting the goggles up to your face and moving around. So let me show you how to assemble this generic version of a Google Cardboard. There are many different versions, but I'm going to show you how to assemble this one. Here it is in the package. The first thing that you want to do is open the package, take out and read the directions. I'm gonna show you how I did it, uh, but you can read the directions so you can get more information. I'm going to miss some of the steps. For example, attaching the Velcro to close it, and I'm just gonna show you briefly how to assemble this. So you take out the pieces, take the rubber band off, I'm going to set the Velcro straps aside. These are used so you can strap it onto your head and not need to hold on to it. I'm unfolding the cardboard. Here you can see the viewer with the lenses inside. I'm going to set that to the side. And then I'm going to unfold the cardboard. And if something drops, make sure you pick it up. And so here is the cardboard laid out. I'm going to take the Velcro stickers set them off to the side and the next thing i want to do and before i move on notice that there's magnets here you don't want to lose the magnets but if you want to pull them off and set them down for a minute you can the next thing you want to do is poke out these holes and you want to do it carefully so i'm just using my thumb to poke it through and i'm pulling out all of these cutouts where you see this serrated edge or this this cut edge and I do this throughout the cardboard and there you go I have all the holes cut into this cardboard the next step I'm going to do is get my lenses And I'm going to put them the flat side down in this segment. And notice how there's grooves cut here for the grooves in the cardboard. And I'm going to put these here. And then I'm going to take this. I'm going to fold, I'm going to fold this piece down. So it kind of forms a circle on the inside. And then I can fit the grooves here. Once I have done that, I'm going to bring this top piece, fold it over the top, and I'm matching up all the grooves as best I can. Now, because this is a generic version, it may not fit as perfectly as a more expensive uh, brand version, but now I have folded, and you can see I have everything here. I can now fold this top up here. So this is the basic build of the goggles, the cardboard viewer. Now this piece here is actually going to be the spacer. You put the curved side down and you match it up inside of here and you can see the curve. It basically allows you to put your nose through there but this is used to space the distance between the phone. There is one thing that I forgot to mention, and we set it aside. These are the magnets. So for the magnets, there's a circle inside. Let's see if you can see it. It's hard to see, but there's a circle inside here where you're gonna put the magnet, and then on the outside, now because magnets either repel or attract, make sure that they're attracting. And I have a magnet there, and I have a magnet here. The purpose of the magnets is for certain apps, you can actually control what you see in the app by moving the magnet up or down, which changes the magnetic field around the phone 
and it allows you to basically click as though it were a button. So you can put the magnets here, and let me demonstrate a couple of things that you can do using the cardboard viewer. Jungle Book 360, and then when I saw the video, I tap on these goggles in the bottom corner, and that sets it into the viewer mode where I can put it inside now, if you follow the directions, you're going to put Velcro here and here. For this demonstration, I'm just going to put a rubber band on it. And then I can put this up and I can view inside what's in there. Go ahead and try that. In fact, you can search for Jungle Book 360 and you can find video examples of 360 video that you can watch using your, your cardboard 360 viewer. And I can look around and the scene will change as I move around. Now let me demonstrate some other things that you can do with this viewer. A great app to try is Google Street View. You can download this app, but you can search for different things. For example, I could search, for example, I could search for South Bird Falls, and I can find the state park. When I search there, Google Street View will take me there, and if there are 360 degree pictures here, I can go ahead and select on one of these pictures, and this will allow me to drag around, and I can see this 360 degree picture. On some versions of this app, for some reason, not all the versions, you can, if you see the cardboard icon there, the goggles right there, if you tap on that, it tells you to put your phone inside the cardboard and it will give you the dual vision so that you can have a 360 degree view as you look around. Now, these are some pictures that I actually took using Google Street View and I'm gonna show you a video on how to do that as well. How you can take your own 360 degree pictures using Google Street View. I'm gonna demonstrate that in just a moment, how these pictures here were taken using an iPhone to make it 360 degrees. Opening up the Google Street View map, you can tap on the camera, which will allow you to take a photo where you're at. You will notice there's an orange circle. You're going to put the white circle around the orange circle. This takes a photo. Then you move the camera up and rotate it to the other orange circles. Now, if you do this slowly, it's going to stitch all of the photos together to create a 360 degree photo. If you go too fast, the circles will turn red and tell you to slow down. So by doing this, you're basically mapping out a 360 degree area. As you do this, you're going to want to try to stay in one location, not move around, and try to keep the camera as close to the same access point as it can. So you're gonna go through and you're gonna um, take all of these pictures and when you're done, it's going to allow you to publish this 360 degree photo to Google Street View. Once you have finished, the app will locate the photos on the map as well as stitch all the photos together. You can manually enter an address to make the location more accurate. When the photos are finished stitching, you can upload it. But make sure that you are on Wi-Fi as it will not allow you to upload over cell phone uh, because it's a very large file size. In the App Store, you can download an app called Google Cardboard, which is a pretty fun app. Open up the Google Cardboard app, and in this, you can explore a virtual world. To explore this world, you simply look around, and you'll notice here there's a menu. There's a white dot that when you move the white dot, it selects something, and when you move the magnet on the outside of the cardboard, it's as though you tapped on it. 
Now with that white dot, if I were to move it over the Arctic fox, and you can see that white dot is there, I can look around, but if I move it down over the Arctic fox, you're going to see that it gives me some more information. The circle changes to a bigger circle, and I can move the magnet, and then when I move the magnet, it pops up with an information box above the Arctic fox. Turning the camera 90 degrees on its side will take you out to the menu to find more viewing options where you can explore different things, such as the Explorer, which takes you to other 360 photos. You can look around, see things such as dinosaurs. If you want to switch, you simply tap on the magnet, push it again, and it'll switch to a new scene that you can see, for example, an airplane hangar museum. You can also check out uh, views from Mars and other locations as well. Another great app that you can explore is Google Expeditions. And here you can search for tours that were created by others. For example, you can search up colleges and you can go to a virtual college tour. You will probably have to download the college tour before you do it, but once you have downloaded it, you can put um, the phone inside of the cardboard viewer and you can look around at the college. Again, you will have the white dot that you can move around. Uh, I have noticed that on my the magnet doesn't work and so I cannot tap between different areas. I have to actually tap on the phone, um, but it depends on your device and how it works. It may work uh, in expeditions, it may not. Give it a try, but either way, it's still pretty fun to view a college campus in 3D and kind of take a 3D virtual tour of the college. These are examples of just a few of the things that you can do with 360 video or virtual reality using a cardboard viewer and your phone. Explore different things and have fun using your 360 degree cardboard viewer as well as your phone. Enjoy!